Brittany Ford in 1984, actress Marion Ross played the beloved character Marion Cunningham on the ABC sitcom Happy Days. Ross is now 94, and she's still remembered fondly for playing one of the most lovable TV characters of all time. Join us as Facts First presents Happy Days Mom Marion Ross is 94. See her today. Ross was born October 25, 1928, in Watertown, Minnesota. She was the daughter of Gordon and Ellen Ross, who had moved to the States after leaving Saskatchewan, Canada, shortly after the turn of the century. When she was 13, Marion changed the spelling of her name. Previously, she had been named Marion with I-A-N at the end. Later, she admitted she made the change up, thinking the new spelling, with I-O-N, would look better on a marquee. She clearly already had lofty aspirations of becoming a star. After finishing her sophomore year, she moved to Minneapolis, where she studied drama at the McPhail Center for Music while attending Southwest High School. About a year later, she relocated to San Diego, where she graduated from Point Loma High School. After that, she got her undergraduate degree from San Diego State University. Early Roles and Rise to Fame Ross made her big screen debut in the 1953 film Forever Female. It saw her share the screen with William Holden and Ginger Roots. From there, she found continued cinema success, appearing in flicks like The Glenn Miller Story, Lust for Life, Teacher's Pet, and Grand Theft Auto. But she's arguably best known for her television career. She first appeared on the small screen in 1953, playing an Irish maid in the series Life with Father. After enjoying that role for two years, she appeared in The Lone Ranger, playing Jenny Thorpe. From there, she appeared in shows such as Mickey Spillane's Mike Hammer, playing Mary Williams, and The Donna Reed Show, appearing as a teacher named Miss McGinnis. She also made guest appearances on dozens of other shows throughout her career, including Father Knows Best, The Brady Bunch, Hawaii Five-O, and The Fugitive, just to name a few. In 1961, Ross was cast as Gertrude Berg's daughter on the CBS sitcom Mrs. G Goes to College. That same year, she played a mail-order bride on Rawhide. Simply put, almost every role she was brought in for, big or small, ended up being quite memorable. She was a versatile actress who could thrive in comedic and dramatic roles. It wasn't until 1974, however, that she was cast in the most significant role of her career. Happy Days and Beyond Ross may have shined in a broad range of roles, but she's best known for playing the fun and quirky Marion Cunningham on Happy Days. She landed the role of the matriarch of the Cunningham family in 1974 and continued to play her throughout the series' entire 11-season run. She received several Primetime Emmy Award nominations for her work and later reprised the role on the Happy Days spinoff Joni Loves Chachi. Years later, she reprised the role once again on an episode of Family Guy. Reflecting on the iconic role, the 94-year-old retired actress was recently quoted as saying she'll never regret her time on Happy Days. These days, Ross is now a mother and grandmother, but she admits to still using her iconic role to her advantage. In 2022, she told a reporter that she still uses the fact that she played Mrs. C to her advantage whenever she wants, quote, the plumber to come. She went on to say that she plays this card whenever she needs anything done. Ross has noted she loved playing the role because of how it opened countless doors for her professionally. She also has expressed gratitude for getting to work with all of her Happy Days castmates. Throughout the series' production, she says the cast all grew to love one another like a family. After Happy Days ended in 1984, she appeared in shows like The Love Boat and the short-lived yet critically acclaimed dramedy Brooklyn Bridge, which aired on CBS from 1991 to 93. The latter role earned her a Golden Globe Award, as well as another Primetime Emmy nomination. More recently, she starred as the housekeeper Rosie Dunlop in the 1996 film The Evening Star. In 97, she played a secretly ill mother in an episode of Early Edition called The Cat. Throughout the run of The Drew Carey Show, she flourished in the recurring role of Drew's mother. After that, she played Bernice Foreman on That 70s Show and Lorelai Trix Gilmore on Gilmore Girls. In the 90s, as well into the 2000s, she did a lot of voiceover work. For example, she provided the voice for the character Miss Wakefield on King of the Hill, as well as Grandma Squarepants on SpongeBob Squarepants. She also voiced characters in animated shows like The Wild Thornberries, Generator Rex, and Tweety Mysteries. In the aughts, Ross appeared in the 2007 biographical period drama Music Within. From 2007 to 2010, she played Ida Holden on ABC's Brothers and Sisters. In 2008, she played Aunt Lucille in the film Superhero Movie. The following year, she had a guest spot on The New Adventures of Old Christine. In the 2010s, she guest starred on Grey's Anatomy, Major Crimes, The Middle, Two and a Half Men, and Nurse Jackie. In 2018, she appeared in Guardians of the Galaxy. Her final film role was in 2021's Senior Entourage, after which she announced she was officially retiring. 
Although she's not taking on new roles, Ross says she doesn't regret that decision at all. When asked if any specific role from her decades-spanning career she liked the best, she confessed she didn't really care. While playing Mrs. Cunningham was clearly her most prominent role, she seems to have enjoyed every minute of her time in Hollywood. Since retiring, Ross says she's been enjoying taking time for herself and relaxing. A few years ago, shortly after celebrating her 88th birthday, Ross gave a candid interview in which she confessed she's never felt old. She went on to describe how her inner child has kept her feeling young and spry. At one point, she went as far to say that she still felt like she was 11. Elaborating on that point, she says that although she feels young inside, she thought it was important to acknowledge the fact that she's gotten up there in years. Though many other actresses her age still work, she says she never felt any pressure to do anything she didn't want to because she's already had such a successful career. While she isn't looking forward to dying, Ross says the optimist inside of her firmly believes that there's going to be the, quote, most fantastic thing after death. Acknowledging no one really knows for certain where you go after passing on, Ross still is very casual and happy when discussing the topic. A Legacy That Will Live On A pillar in her community, Marion Ross has been honored in a couple of beautiful ways, ensuring that her legacy will live on long after she's gone. In June 2008, the Albert Lee Civic Center Theater in her hometown of Albert Lee, Minnesota, officially changed its name to the Marion Ross Performing Arts Center. More recently, in 2021, the city of Albert Lee installed a bronze statue of her that sits outside the theater. While having places named after you and statues being built in your likeness ensure your name won't soon be forgotten, the most significant way that any of us can keep our legacies alive is through family and children. Ross has two children and is quite proud of how she raised them. They're a close-knit family, and Marion is especially proud of her kids' achievements. Both her daughter and son have followed in her footsteps by pursuing careers in the entertainment industry. Her son Jim Meskimen is an actor and impressionist who made it to the finals of America's Got Talent in the early 2010s. He's also appeared on Whose Line Is It Anyway? and in the 2000 film How the Grinch Stole Christmas, directed by Ron Howard. Additionally, Jim and his mother got to work with each other, doing voiceover on The Boondocks and Kung Fu Panda Legends of Awesomeness. Her daughter, Ellen Plummer, isn't an actress, but she's done quite a bit of work behind the camera. In the 90s, she served as a writer and producer on Friends. She worked on the Friends spinoff, Joey, as well. In the mid-2000s, she served as co-executive producer of The New Adventures of Old Christine. Most recently, she's worked as an executive producer for the 2018 ABC TV movie Three Rivers and as a consulting producer for the TV shows Trial and Error and American Housewife. While Ross is undoubtedly thrilled her children have found successful careers of their own, she says the biggest accomplishment she's made is consistently maintaining a happy, healthy, and loving relationship with them. Now it's time to hear from you. What's your favorite role from Marion Ross? Did you know she did so much voiceover work? Let us know in the comments section below.